All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to part two, uh, basic, uh, simple tutorial DVD Architect Pro 6.0. Uh, today I'm going to cover a couple of items here on the tutorial, on this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to optimize um, for the best quality Blu-ray uh, possible. And I'm also going to show you guys how to go from a Blu-ray property, or I'm sorry, from a Blu-ray project to a DVD project um, without having to enter all your menus and, and titles and all that good stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and show you guys how to uh, maximize this uh, Blu-ray for the best possible quality. So this this is a wedding I did last year. Um, go ahead and preview it real quick for you guys. This is the main menu. I'm gonna go ahead and click on chapter menu. This is the chapter menu, or let's say I wanna watch the engagement session. Now we're watching the engagement session. I'm gonna stop it. Okay. And okay, so this Blu-ray project is complete. It's done. It's ready to be uh, rendered and um, ready for. Uh, and I'm ready to burn the Blu-ray. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Make Blu-ray Disc. Okay. This is the first thing that you need to do. We're gonna prepare this file. Okay. It's gonna be saved on. Um, in my case, Drive I. And I'm going to change the name to Lupita Gabriel Blu-ray number three. Go to next. Okay, and in this area, in this window, is where you're going to see if there are any errors in your project. Everything's showing up good. So I'm going to go ahead and click where it says optimize. Now this is important because this is where you uh, tell Architect um, what kind of quality you want uh, in in your Blu-ray. So we're going to click optimize. Now I've already done this, and my vid my video, my Blu-ray here is optimized to fill 99% of a 20 25 gigabyte disc. And what I had to do is I had to change the the default bit rate to 18.4, um, so I can you know bring it down. Now that's going to change the megabytes a second, which means you're going to get less lesser quality. But I want to maximize it so that I can fit that disc, fit the video on the Blu-ray disc to 99%. Okay. What if you want to make this a 25 megabyte per second um, Blu-ray? Well, let's go ahead and change it to 25. And let me explain something. When I make my Blu-rays, um, all the video, all the content I record is recorded uh, um, on uh, in 4K, and it's rendered down to um, between. Uh, 25 to 35 megabytes a second um, MPEG-2 files. Okay, so uh, in this particular case, let's say we have our video is 25 megabytes a second. We want to keep it at 25 megabytes a second for the best possible quality. Now, can you do it uh, in this particular project? I can't because as you can see, it's 136% of a 25 gigabyte disk. We're beyond the, the limit and uh, uh, two ways to fix this. One is to buy a 50 gigabyte disk. If that's the case, we're going to change the project properties. Let me go back. You're going to come to the project properties. Come down to target media size. Right now we're at 25. I'm going to change it to 50 gigabyte disk. Apply and OK. And there you go, guys. We can definitely change this to 25 megabytes. We can even change it to 35 megabytes. If you change it to 35 megabytes, you're gonna fill up 95% of the of the of the disc. Um, uh, again, that's how you would do it. The second way of doing this is to go over to your chapter menu and eliminate one or two video files. Um, I suggest you eliminate the longer files. So in this case, I would eliminate the ceremony. Okay, and what I would do is. Um, make this blu-ray without the ceremony and i would make the ceremony on a separate blu-ray disc which i've done in the past in this particular video um, uh, project i went ahead and kept it in with everything else so um but if you wanted to maximize size yeah you're gonna have to get rid of one of these video files in my case it would be the ceremony which is about an hour long i would uh, make a separate blu-ray disc for just the ceremony and everything else included on disc number one uh, so again Let's go back. Okay, we're working with the 25 gigabyte disk. We're gonna name this Lupita. Let's see, number number three. 
and then we're going to maximize it okay we're gonna optimize it and maximize the quality again we gotta change the disk to 25 and that right here is where you maximize the quality of your blu-ray I'm gonna maximize it to 99% of the disk which allows me to have an 18.4 megabyte a second blu-ray uh, and I recommend that you make your Blu-rays between 18 megabytes a second to 35 megabytes a second, depending on how many video files, the length of your video files. Uh, I usually go between 18. If this were to, let's say my final project was 15 megabytes a second, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't make this video with 50 megabytes a second. I would have to eliminate uh, a few of these items here and make a separate file because I do want 18 okay 225 depending if I can fit all the 25 megabytes a second on a 25 gigabyte disk but in this case we're gonna go to 99% of the disk and it's uh, 18 megabytes a second which again fits 99% on a 25 gigabyte disk at this point um, you can also oh by the way you can also click fit to disk if you click fit to, to like say we are at 33 and you're beyond that oh you don't know what to do all you have to do is click fit fit to disk okay and this by default this will give you a 17 megabyte uh, per second video it only fills up 94 percent of your disk you can okay that proceed and it'll burn it it'll be fine but I like to maximize it a little bit better I want to optimize that and bring it down to 99 percent okay and now here's one thing that's important if you come down here to the very bottom right hand corner of your of your of your um, screen it says this disk space used 24.7 and it's in red okay let me let me tell you a little secret though i don't know why it does this but when i finalize my my finish my blu-ray and i come to check it out here's the actual um project uh, blu-ray it's only 22 let's go to properties it's only 22.1 gigabyte. Okay, now this is telling you it's 24.7 gigabytes. Uh, don't know why it does that, but I know that when I'm at 24.6, 7.8, sometimes uh, the final size is around 22, 23 um, uh, gigabytes. So, so we're okay on this particular project. All right. So at this point, you've checked it. You maximized the quality by uh, fixing your megabytes a second. We're ready to render it, finish it, click on finish, and there you go, guys. It's starting to render. It's preparing the final Blu-ray. Uh, it takes a while, so kick back, relax, and, and you know get yourself some coffee or whatever and, and wait for this to finish and then burn it on a Blu-ray. Watch it on your big screen television. Check for any errors, uh, and you're done. Uh, let's go ahead and cancel. All right. All right, so we've canceled this project, and that's how I maximize uh, for best possible quality uh, in a Blu-ray. Now, let's say you 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 did your Blu-ray. Let's say you burn your Blu-ray, and but let's say the client or you want to make a DVD as well. Let's say you want to make a copy uh, uh, and have a DVD copy. Well, very simple, guys. You're going to come up to the uh, file, come down to properties, okay. And then you're going to change where it says disk format. We're going to change that to DVD. Now this is important, okay? Because by default, it'll tell, it'll give you a, a regular 4.7 gigabyte uh, DVD. Um, if you if you're working with a big project like I am, I'm going to change this to 8.5 gigabyte a dual layer uh, DVD. Okay. Important that you change the aspect ratio to 16.9. Otherwise, it won't be widescreen. Um, resolution that's that's fine leave the resolution at 720 by 480 frame rate can't change the frame rate so you're gonna leave it at 29 or 30 uh, uh, frames per second everything else stays the same okay you're gonna apply okay it and now you're ready to make as you can see up here make a DVD and you go do the same steps as I showed you okay and we're gonna save it on this default uh, folder Okay, you're going to optimize it. Now, here's an issue. Here's the problem with this one. We're at eight and a half gig. We have an eight and a half gigabyte disk, and, and the video uh, is going to be made at 9.0 megabytes per second. Well, that's not going to work, guys, because 
142% of your disc is full. So you're going to have to drop that too. And here's the problem. If you drop it down to, let me see, 6.2, you're burning, you're going to burn 100% of the disc. Uh, you can, you can do it. You could definitely do this, make the DVD. However, your, your megabytes a second is 6.2. That means your quality is going to degrade uh, a lot. And, and I wouldn't recommend it. I recommend eight to nine mega, uh, megabytes a second. Uh, so what do you do? Well, what you have to do to make uh, the project fit on this eight and a half is you're gonna have, you're going to have to eliminate, uh, uh, again, eliminate a, a video file or two. Uh, in my case, I think I would eliminate the ceremony, which is a full hour. And by eliminating the ceremony, it'll probably allow me to do um, the eight megabyte a second uh, video, which will fit this eight point five gigabyte disk, dual layer disk. Um, Otherwise, yeah, you you you're gonna get a video that's not gonna look very very nice. So it'll be very very pixelated. It just won't look nice. Uh, so again, two two recommendations, uh, or one recommendation is get rid of a couple of these video files and make a separate DVD, um, and and then that way you can bring the the megabytes a second to eight or nine. Okay, so let's leave it at eight. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's the only way to, to maximize it to eight megabytes a second is by limiting. Now, if you're okay with, you know, with fit the disc, if you're okay with a five, almost a six, let's leave it at, uh, let's leave it at 98. There you go. If you're okay with a six megabyte per second file or final DVD, um, you know, okay, that's, that's on you. Um, you can, you can do it, definitely do it, but I recommend keeping your megabytes on a dvd at from eight to nine okay and, and of course in this project i can't do that because the it exceeds the the space on the eight and a half dual air disc so that means i have to eliminate uh some of these video files here in my case i would eliminate the ceremony which is a full hour and make a separate um dvd on that okay so let's go ahead and cancel that cancel that let's go back to file properties we're going to go back and change it to a blu-ray a disc apply and there you go and and that's that's exactly how you do uh, go from a, a blu-ray disc property uh, project to a DVD and and then that show and I also showed you guys how to change the quality again prepare change it to Lupita Gabriel number three Gonna go ahead and uh, optimize the quality by checking your default megabytes. Uh, if you leave it at fit to disk, this is what it gives me, but I always like to in increase it to the point where I fill up the disk 99%. We'll leave it at that. We okay it, we finish, and it starts to work and do its magic. Okay, once it's, once it's done, the final disk will be saved on your, on your, in your computer. In this case, it's right here, Lupita Gabriel Blu-ray number two. If you want to preview it, you go to, let's watch it. And there it is. This is my final Blu-ray. I'm going to go to chapter menu. Okay, let's go ahead and do a slideshow. All right, and there you go. So that's how I maximize my Blu-ray, guys. That's how I make my final Blu-rays for the best possible quality uh, i hope i explained it uh, thoroughly for you guys hope i wasn't too fast uh, if you have any questions uh you know put them down in, in the comment section and i'll try to answer uh, one thing about my videos guys is i don't make any flashy intros or flashy blu-rays or anything like that they're just basic very simple um you know easy to navigate um, blu-rays that i make uh nothing fancy um, you know, I'm not really into all that fancy stuff. I've seen people do these fancy intros and, you know, these fancy, um, uh, author, these fancy, uh, Blu-rays. And then when you sit down and watch the actual movie, it's, it's garbage. And, you know, so I don't understand the point of making it all flashy when the rest of the actual, uh, content is no good. So I'm the opposite guys. I like to give you, give my clients something simple so they can navigate, you know, let's go back and preview it. Chapter menu. I like to give it to them simple, easy for them to understand, nothing flashy, and then the content, uh, you know, it has to be good as well. So, all right, guys. So I hope you guys understand my my um, my tutorial today. 
Uh, again, I'm not a professional uh, YouTuber that makes you know all fancy uh, tutorials, just real basic. Uh, but I appreciate the time you guys spent watching this. Again, any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll ask, I'll uh, you know answer as soon as I can. All right, guys, so I appreciate your time. You guys have a good one. Bye bye.